We cover five new features coming in the Windows 10 20H1 update coming up on Split Second Tech. What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Split Second Tech video where we cover anything tech related in just a few short minutes. Now today's topic is to go through and show you five new features that are coming to the Windows 10 Spring Creator Update aka 20H1. So let's begin. The first one on our list is the Xbox Game Bar gets an update to not only show your FPS but also to show your achievement overlay making it extremely easy to track your achievement progress and to monitor your frame rates. Although you may need to be signed into the Xbox Insider Hub in order to get this update. Apps reopening upon reboot. Number four brings us the ability to not only open up apps after we reboot the PC, but also we can now go in and fine tune and choose which one of those apps open in the event that we reboot the machine. Virtual desktop renaming is finally here. Now, why this ability wasn't an option when virtual desktops first appeared is completely beyond me. In any case, for those that do enjoy using the virtual desktops like myself, this is just an improved way to go through and rename and keep your desktop windows organized. This feature goes out to those that like to have detailed information within the Windows Task Manager. Coming in at number two gives us the ability to not only see our graphics card or our GPU temperatures, but we can now have detailed information on what store drives and their types are plugged into the machine. It's small things like this in an operating system that matter greatly, and it's about time, so good job, Microsoft. The last and most important change about this update is the amount of bug fixing and user experience changes. We're gonna see a lot of changes, such as the network settings page is going to contain more detailed information. We're gonna see better search results. We're gonna have a better event notification system, and we're gonna see some heavy improvements for the Windows subsystem for Linux. Now the question remains, can Microsoft fix these bugs without creating more and worse bugs on top of it? Now keep in mind, this was only five of the new features that are gonna be coming to this Windows 10 update this spring. There are tons of other features that we didn't happen to mention on this video. If you wanted to check out any detailed information about this update, you can check out this link right here and I will also post this link in the video description below. And that wraps up this week's Split Second Tech, bringing us into our question of the day. Of course, what is your most anticipated feature of this update? Leave your answers in the comment section below. Click the thumbs up if you like this video and hit the subscribe if that is your style. Be sure to enable the bell icon so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content, and we will see you on the next one.